Creates or Annalise's Creations. It's my vlog Monday. How's everybody doing? I hope you're having a beginning of a wonderful week. And those of you who might be in Australia or New Zealand, it's Tuesday for you guys. So I hope your week started out okay. Um, anyhow, I wanted to show you what I've been up to. Um, I'm part of the Lifebook 2015, and so um, that I told you about last week, all the things that I'm trying to ke play catch up with, and just uh, online classes I'm taking. So this is one of them. This was the warm up. So I'll show you here. I'll come in a little closer. This was the warm up lesson. It was really fun to do. Learned some new stuff I thought I couldn't do, but I did it. Okay, so that was week one of a warm-up lesson that Tamara Laporte put on. And then she taught us this lesson. It's basically a, um, uh, what did she call it? A beacon of light. That's right, our beacon of light. And so many of us did... Um, things that were along the same lines as she did and some people thought outside the box and did things that were completely different and I just thought it was amazing some of the stuff I've seen on fa posted on her Facebook uh, lifebook page as well as on the actual willowing um, site um, so anyways this was mine and I did mine a little different not not, you know, completely different, but en enough to make it sort of my own. It was a lot of work. I almost gave up. That's why if you're learning something new, you're going to go through a learning curve. Don't let it discourage you. Don't get discouraged. Just keep on going. Keep on trucking because um, it'll make you a better artist. You'll learn a lot from it. You'll learn by your mistakes. Um, for me, it was being impatient and not building upon the layers on the face. As you can see, there's a lot of layers there, and Tamara Laporte teaches you that, that you have to keep going and layering it after layer, and that you can straighten things out with gesso. Excuse me, my phone's going off, but it's not important, I'm sure. <laughs> Anyways, so it, um, yeah, so that's what I did. That's week one. Then week two, we had a warm-up lesson. We had a lesson to come up with our um, kind of a like a celebration jar of things that we may accomplish or we're proud of ourselves instead of putting ourselves down all the time and being our own critic, um, taking a step back and looking at our accomplishments for the, for the year. So she had us come up with a jar, a celebration jar, um, and in it you put stuff in it. So I got a plain jar. I'm not going to show it to you today because it's not completely done. So I'll show it to you next week in my next week's vlog. But because um, one of the pieces fell off. <laughs> then she also had us do a tag and she wanted us to put our word of inspiration on it. Um, on this one, uh, the warm-up, sorry, I don't mean to turn my back on you guys, um, she had us write a couple of words of things that we want to focus on ourselves for the, for the year. And one of them was, in, in, for me, it was introspection and self-love, um, self-respect. I guess I tend to do too much, um, and as you, many of you know, I'm a chronic pain sufferer. I always keep mentioning that. I, sh I probably shouldn't at this point. You're probably sick and tired of hearing it. But um, So I need to go and delve deeper inside of myself to learn to deal with this illness that I have and to take time to, for myself not always doing things for others um, and just basically learning to take care of myself before I can take care of my family. Um, and I tend to sometimes overdo it and 
I pay the price later. So I'm learn still on the learning curve as far as how much I can do and how much I shouldn't do during the day to save my spoons. Um, so anyhow, um, she wanted us to put a word or a phrase or something, but, and for me, was to give myself some encouragement. I had these stickers that had some nice sayings and quotes and things on them, and so this, uh, the picture of the lady was from some ephemera I had that I had used in a previous artist trading card, and I had made copies of it before I sent out that artist trading card out. So I glued that on to this, and the background's actually from a piece on the front of a journal, uh, art journal I did, and I had taken a picture of it and scanned it onto my computer, com excuse me, computer. So I printed it out and glued it onto the back of the, of the tag and then glued this on. And it says, Dear Self, I know you can do this. So when I'm getting frustrated, especially over an art project, and I want to give up, I want to tear it up, I need to just focus and say, hey, you can do this. Don't get frustrated. We all get, we all get, you know, are in that boat. So that's what I've been doing this week. And I'm already behind. <laughs> Uh, Crazy Island Family on Facebook has put out their prompts and oh I wanted to show you what last week's was excuse me um, ah, I'm dropping everything um, it was the, the theme was circles um, and Gina Aaron's she does a really awesome job she's been doing a lot of doodles on her Facebook page and on the Crazy Island Family page of her doodles and so she taught the lesson so if you want to head on over to Crazy Island University that's where all the lessons are posted um, it does cost a little bit of money to you know to uh, subscribe to the channel but it's really worthwhile because you do learn a lot um, it's actually done Claudia Rossi's the head of the whole group and then there's Peter Thompson and Gina Ahrens and Jean, they switch off in teaching the lessons throughout the year for the art journaling. And so this theme this week was circles, this past week. And they've already come out with another theme, which I'm going to be working on this week and catching up on Lifebook and the daily, daily life project also I'm doing. And that one, where did I put that? I'll show you that in a, later on next week. I'll show you that page too. But anyways, these these were my circles that I came up with, and she wanted us to have a quote that kind of you know went along the lines of circles. So mine was says our task must be to free ourselves by widening our circle of compassion to embrace all living creatures and the whole of nature and its beauty. Albert Einstein. So that was mine for this week. So this week I'm going to be working on all of the stuff I've been planning on working on. And I'm also going to do my ICAW, which is I index card a week because I can't keep up with the everyday one like Gina Ahrens does. And if I have time, she posted on her YouTube channel, she's doing a Smackdown journal, basically to smack down those thoughts, negative thoughts that we get in our heads that we can't do things, we're too fat, we're too ugly, we're too skinny, we're too this, we're too that, and how to smack it down. And so I'm hoping that maybe this week I can get started on my Smackdown journal and maybe I can show you guys too that it looks like it's a lot of fun and so I think I'm going to try maybe joining um, Gina in that one. Anyhow, so that's about it for this week, and I hope you're having a great one rest of the week, and go out and make it a great day, and listen to some music because it's good for your soul, and good for everyone else around you, because <laughs> it keeps you happy. <laughs> Anyways, see you later guys. Toodles, have a wonderful day. Bye.